Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Chris and this is my shop partner Oots and in this video we're going to be building a really cool outdoor movie screen. We're going to be using some traditional... <laughs> we're going to be using some traditional mortise and... Gosh darn it Ootsie! You're screwing me up! I'm going to be using some traditional timber framing techniques that's going to let me knock down this screen when I'm not using it. I want to thank Lowe's for sponsoring this video. There's going to be links to plans for this project as well as the materials I use down in the description. And I'll also have another set of plans for a screen that's a little less complicated that you can just bolt together and knock down when you're done using. So let's get started with this project. Not only is this an awesome project to build so that you can have outdoor movies, but it's also a great project for those who are interested in getting started in timber framing or to practice some of this really cool joinery. This is an outdoor project and it's made of pine, so it doesn't need to be as pretty as a nice fine indoor piece of furniture, so it's perfect for those who want to get in some of that practice. I'm starting by making bridle joints that will connect the upper cross member to the post. I wanted to make a slight curve in the upper cross member to give the frame a little bit of a Japanese aesthetic, so I clamped a long batten down and traced the curve and then cut out that curve using a jigsaw. Next I'll start working on the lower cross member that will have a tusked through tenon that will go through the posts. Then using the tenons I just created, I can lay out and cut the through mortise in the post. Then I'll cut the tenons in the bottom of each post that will mount into the base. Hey, and if you like this video and you haven't already or you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and if you hit that bell icon, it'll make sure that you get a notification anytime I put out a new video. So thanks so much for that. All right, so I did a dry assembly of the frame and it went together nicely and looks awesome. And I needed to do this so that I can finish laying out my knee braces and cross members and uh, the tusk that will go through that through tenon. 
So what I did was I clamped this two by four diagonally across there. I couldn't do a 45 degree angle through here because the 45 degree angle was gonna end up butting into that through tenon. So I had to make it a little bit steeper of an angle. So I laid it out there, clamped it into place and struck a line right here. And then on the other side, right here. And then I laid out the rest of my knee brace that tenon that will stick through this tenon will stick into the bottom foot piece here and then this piece will stick into the side up in this area right here so i'm gonna get cutting out these knee braces and lay out my tusk or peg or wedge that will slide into that through tenon Once my knee braces are cut, I'll actually lay them back into place to accurately lay out where each mortise goes. Then after I drill holes through all my mortises, I'll dry fit the frame and using a brad point bit, I'll add a mark to each tenon. Then when I take the frame apart, I'll move that mark ever so slightly towards the tenon shoulder and drill the hole there. This technique is called draw boring and when I assemble the frame later on, that offset hole will draw the joint tight together. And using these pegs and wedges to assemble this frame is what's also going to allow me to take this thing apart and store it when I'm not using it. Then I lightly sand all the pieces, add a little boiled linseed oil, and she's ready to assemble.
I'll have links to this movie screen, the projector that I used, and also some different audio options down in the description. Well, everyone, there you have it. This outdoor movie screen turned out awesome. I had a ton of fun building it, and it was super fun to sit down at the end and really enjoy it and watch some movies. Let me know down in the comment section what are some of your favorite movies because I'm always looking for some others to add to my favorites. And we'll see you on the next project. Thanks so much for watching.